It shows a nine square city because concealed in the number nine is 666. But in the very center of the city, they show it will be the town cemetery. The center is the center of death of New Haven, Connecticut, where Yale University. Well, they also is. admit Yale admits the town, the university is laid out as a skull and crossbones. It is. In fact, you will see in the original layout, you will see a skull and bones, and this comes from the book. It is the diary of Ezra Stiles. He was a a high level Freemason, and he was one of the first presidents of Yale College, and he actually showed here is our city. And, and by the way, right next to the, the town cemetery is the tomb, the resident for the uh, Skull and Bones hey, 15 young men initiated. A year. devil cult runs our society. On September 11th. Yeah. We're going to keep talking here in the break, guys. We're going to keep going here. I mean, literally, that's why they kill. That's why they murder a group of psychopaths. I mean, if you look at it as a psychiatrist or a psychologist, a group of psychopaths have created a religion around their beliefs. We know better than that. And they're carrying out all sorts of insanity. And they run everything because they're ruthless and cunning and organized. And the general public's just unaware of what's going on. And, and now That's they're right. going to bring in their great death. I have an entire section here. I think it's the most important section uh, in my book. It's called Where the Rich and Famous Dwell. Hey, they're not just building these buildings in public. What are their estates like? Now, they've opened up many of their great estates. You know, the DuPonts, the Astors, the Vanderbilts, uh, uh, the Rothschilds, others. They've opened up many of their estates to the public. And so they've taken out a lot of their satanic statues and things like that. But even what they've left, visit the Vanderbilt uh, mansion, the Biltmore estate. I did. You'll see all the gargoyles and devils and so forth. But the interesting thing, and I know you've done so much to expose the Bohemian Grove, the great DuPont estate... The, the, the outside the landscaping and the, the pool area and the architecture is built in the shape of a great owl. And the head of the owl is the order of skull and bones symbol. You'll see the death head and, and what appears to be uh, the, the skull, uh, the, the bones crossed. Skull and bones, owl, uh, on the grounds of the DuPont estate, and it's open to the public, but n you don't notice it until you go airily and you look down. You're walking maybe right there where the skull and, and bones is or at the head of the owl, but uh, it has to be an aerial shot before you know what's going Text, on. I mean, we know wars and things are ritualized murder, the shock and awe, things you've talked about like that. You know, they, the, you know, they call the operation the name of a goddess, and it's a double meaning. People don't even know what it means. Uh, how many of them, though, are still doing the old-fashioned Luciferian ritual of having breeders getting babies and killing them? Well, that's going on. And Remember, the Masons laid the cornerstone to most of America's public buildings, post offices, uh, all the uh, buildings in Washington, D.C., and so forth, uh, courthouses around the country. And they say abortion's a sacrifice. Well, we, oh, yes, there is a book, in fact, Abortion as a Sacrament published by a witch, a very popular book uh, among uh, uh, these occultists. And they say that abortion is, in fact, a sacrifice to the God the of nature. Is, I'm tired of all the lower-level practitioners saying that's not in our teachings or our belief or our system, but they just haven't graduated. They're porch masons or porch witches. They don't understand at the top it's the same thing. And I'm not going to traffic with people that kill babies. Remember, again, architecture of the Illuminati is... It signals future event. Let's, let's get to this real quick. In 1935... Stay there. We're coming right, right back. Okay. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Michael in Texas, Jeffy in London, John in Oklahoma, Morgan in Georgia. We're going to get to all your calls. 1-800-259-9231. Tex Mars is with us again in studio. And i got to tell you, get his book, ladies and gentlemen, at InfoWars.com. And you can also get it discounted uh, with my, my film, Discounted Endgame, that ties in with it, their, their master plan to carry out global extermination. It's all stated. It's the most important info out there. You need this book. It, it's huge. Great coffee table book. Great to wake up friends and family. Very affordable. Infowars.com. Also get my new film, Truth Rising, while you're at it. My new cinema, Verite-style film on DVD at Infowars.com. Text in closing, you were talking about how they signal future events. Then we're going to go to calls. Through architecture and through symbology and even through the currency. In 1935, Franklin Roosevelt, then a 32-degree uh, Mason, uh, and his Secretary of Agriculture, who was a 33rd-degree Mason, Henry Wallace, uh, they had a plan and they changed the currency of the United States. For the first time in 1935, it was finally admitted 
to the public that there was a reverse, a secret hidden they called side. It. They called it the, the Great Seal. Secret seal. sign. You, That's right. You can be shown the pyramid. It's only one dollar bill. The the Great Pyramid of Egypt, the all seeing eye of the sun god or Lucifer, and the words Novus Ordo Seclorum, nineteen thirty five. And guess what? <coughs> Exactly, exactly six years later, great human sacrifice and blood, Pearl Harbor, the inauguration into the World uh, War, War, War II era of the United States, the number six, six years after we had the great sign of Osiris and Horus, the great sun god and his son, and the pyramid, we ha had unleashed this great American uh, death. A period with uh, Pearl Harbor. So everything is signal in advance. The Georgia Guidestones saying we intend to catapult the world into this new world order and there will be great death. So this was the secret seal but can only be shown to the slaves in 35. That, that's right. And they'd already had the seal made uh, turn of the century, 30 years plus before, if I remember the story correctly. But then they finally even had a little display and said, look, ah, you can see this now. Let's go ahead and show folks. Yes, origins actually go all the way back to Ben Franklin and Thomas Jefferson, but it was kept hidden. Yeah, but, and, I, but only I, remember, demonstrated. I, I just seen a documentary where they showed when they had the one minute that they had at the Capitol, I believe, and it was another side they showed. Uh, the, the, uh, yeah, they call this the obverse side. I think it's quite interesting. By the way, even the great eagle itself is a, a sign of empire, and over the eagle you will see a six-pointed star, the hexagram. It's not just a, a star. It is the six-pointed star the 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 hexagram that is used to put a curse on things. So I want to ask a question: Did they place a curse on the United States with this great hexagram placed over uh, the eagle on our dollar bill? But again, all of this is is mirrored in architecture. These people have these unheavenly visions. I want to mention too that the United Nations building was built on Egyptian uh, satanic architectural principles. Worshipping the god Shu, and he have, I have a picture of that in Mysterious Monuments, the United Nations Secretariat Building, and predictably, shortly after the United Nations was formed, the Korean War ensued, and great death and bloodshed. So, so bloodshed and death follows architecture. And I think we can see the plans of the Illuminati, the grand design that Manley P. Hall, 33rd degree Mason, called it, the grand design is revealed in architecture, unknown to the average person, but known only to the higher level uh, hierophants and initiates. Okay, amazing information, and a lot of it is covered in Mysterious Monuments. You can also, at InfoWars.com, when you get Mysterious Monuments, get the first part, which uh, is, of course, Codex Magica, just as thick, just as amazing. And briefly, tell folks what's covered in Codex Magica for those that don't have it, Tex. Well, Codex Magica is another huge book with a thousand photographs and illustrations. Uh, Codex Magica is the same size as Mysterious Monuments, but it covers the, the Illuminati and the elite and all of the secret societies, including Freemasonry, their secret hand signs, their secret rituals done in plain sight on television and magazines and newspapers, uh, how they actually contort their bodies and handshakes, symbols, signs, the, the, the meaning of these. Uh, and it's just amazing... Uh, what you find. And, and Tess, you've been, I mean, when did you really wake up to the New World Order? 20 years ago? Well, I believe, yeah, I, I can almost, I remember it, it just knocked me down when I discovered it. You know, I really uh, point it back. I had I'd done much exposing the, the the New Age movement and its occultic. Infiltrating ways. Christianity, yeah. and that led you back. Yeah, so. well, I had a young man. Uh, a tremendously brilliant guy. He worked uh, for a high tech. I'll just tell you, he worked for IBM. Uh, an engineer. He graduated from Yale University. He came to visit me, uh, and he was a Christian man. He says, Tex, I know you've done all the study of the occult and mystery Babylon and the ancient religions, but are you aware of the secret societies? And he said, I studied the Order of Skull and Bones when I was a student at Yale University. And I said, well, tell me what you know. And he did. And by the way, he had written a, a dissertation while he was at Yale University. Uh, Roger Javins was his name. And he said, here, I want you to, to see this. That propelled me into this incredible study of secret societies. That took you behind the elite. curtain, behind the curtain. Well, well, it did, and I'd say that was about 22 years ago now, uh, today. And that's why Mysterious Monuments and Codex Magica are based on over 20 years of research. That's where I was going, is, yeah. that, is that this is really... 
uh, I don't want to say your penultimate because you're going to do a lot more, but this is this uh, really the, the 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 sum or or the you know the essence of your work and research, and it's so important that people have these. We're going to your calls, but I do want to draw a picture for people. Very simple. The, the globalists, their symbol is also the pyramid, the Illuminati, because it's a symbol of compartmentalization. We're the big mass down here at the bottom, and then they're the illuminated ones on top. But to make it more simple in squares, you see this, you're in a box, and uh, we'll show people a close shot of uh, this. You you think you you know see everything, but 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 really you're a Republican or you're a Democrat. You've got this limited view. And then meanwhile, you have no idea that you are part of a larger structure that there are other people who have their own views and their own ideas and their own systems of thought and there's even different cults and different groups that think they have all the answers and different you know organizations and governments and strata and the illuminati they have unlimited funding